we are going to do this mini lesson on cell parts and functions. Mm -hmm. To start with, this is the note sheet you should have picked up uh, from your teacher. Uh, if you did not, you can always uh, draw this into your uh, notebook. Now, um, the one change is not all of these cell parts ended up on the video. Uh, for instance, cell wall will not be in the video. Uh, lysosome will not be there either. Uh, but the rest will be and you're going to be uh, looking to fill in the structure and function in this column uh, whether uh, these uh, cell parts are in animal uh, or plant cells or both that uh, the cell type um, whether you find it these cell parts in prokaryotic cells eukaryotic cells or both and then finally making a little check mark uh, to keep track of what process they're involved in um, if you if it's involved in energy production, you give it a check. If it's involved in cell reproduction, you give it a check. If it's involved in protein synthesis, you would give it a check. Or if it's involved in the cell uh, maintenance of a cell or support of a cell, you give it a check. So a uh, real simple uh, format uh, to take the notes in um, as you go through the video. So let's get kicked off with um, the nucleus. The nucleus um, is pictured here, well, at least most of it is. They have a little cutout so you can see the inside of the nucleus. The function of the nucleus is uh, to control all the cell activities. Uh, since it is the, the house uh, where uh, the DNA is and the, the instructions for all the cell activities are, that would make sense. Um, it is found in um, eukaryotic cells. Obviously it's the one piece that we look for that defines a eukaryotic cell and in both plants and animals. Um, it is involved in the process of protein synthesis as well as cell reproduction. Oh, the mighty mitochondria. Uh, you can see it pictured here. Uh, it's a, a multiple membrane system. The outer membrane here has been cut away can, so you can see the, the most distinguishing um, feature of the mitochondria is this folded up membrane inside of this outer membrane. Its job is to create the cellular energy um, it is found in eukaryotic cells and in both plants and animals, both have them. Its job is, or its process that is involved in, is um, energy production via a process called respiration. The ribosome. Now the ribosome isn't a membrane-bound organelle like the rest of them are. Um, it is uh, composed of two um, molecular subunits, a large one and a small one, put together into these small pieces. And you'll see them uh, attached to the endoplasmic uh, reticulum as well as floating in the cytoplasm. Their job is to make proteins. Um, we find them both in plants and animals as well as and, uh, in um, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Um, obviously the process it's involved in is going to be the making of protein, which is called protein synthesis. Chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are green because uh, they are filled with chlorophyll. Again, a multiple membrane system with all kinds of uh, intricate folds within the um, outer membrane. Um, its function is to capture the light from the sun to create glucose, which we're going to use in respiration uh, to create energy. Uh, they are found in eukaryotic cells only and um, only in plants. The process it's involved in then is energy production via photosynthesis. The cell membrane is this barrier that surrounds the cell, this outer layer of that cell. If you get closer, you can see it's actually two layers deep. The cell membrane is um, the boundary that controls what goes in and out of the cell. That's what its function is. We find them in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, which would be the definition of a cell and both in plants and animals. The process um, it's involved in is going to be cell reproduction and cell maintenance and support. The Golgi apparatus is pictured in the middle here and it is a very interesting looking organelle and it's ever-changing. Um, its function is to sort, modify, and package molecules for transportation within the cell or um, externally out of the cell. Um, it's involved in modifying and packaging up proteins, which is going to be a very important job of the cell. Uh, found in eukaryotic cells, both plants and animals have them. 
and the process it's going to be involved in is protein synthesis. The endoplasmic reticulum's job is to assemble membranes and proteins for export. It also provides some structure within the cell where we can move some of these things as well. You can see a picture in the middle um, of the screen here. Uh, sometimes you see it right outside the nucleus and it is, um, in, you can see it's like a highway system, kind of a folded up membrane system with the ribosomes attached to it. Sometimes it's out in the cell away from the nucleus a little bit and looks like uh, little tubes. Uh, they're found only in eukarya <laughs> excuse me, eukaryotic cells, and both plants and animals have them. The process is involved in uh, for our discussion is going to be protein synthesis. The vacuole is this big bubble looking um, organelle that's inside of, typically inside of plant cells, although we'll see them in animal cells as well, uh, not as prominent as the plant cells. Uh, their function is to to create or to provide a storage area for excess water, nutrients, and waste. It's also used to help maintain cell shape. They're only found in eukaryotic cells. Um, both plants and animal, animals have them, but however, much more visible in plants. The process that's involved in it is going to be uh, cell maintenance and support. Again, one of our cell parts that isn't a true membrane bound organelle. Um, is going to be the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is going to be this jelly-like fluid that fills up the cell. You can see this arrow right here. It's this, this yellowish, tannish colored stuff that just kind of fills up the cell and helps, make, help, helps the, the, the cell itself maintain shape, support the organelles, for, and provide a place for chemical reactions to actually happen. Um, it's found in both prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells, as well as both plants and animals, its main job or the process it's involved in is going to be the cell maintenance and support. The centrioles are pictured in this cell. They're kind of small and you can see it's colored in here as gold. If you get closer you can see that there's these uh, little um, stalks of, of microtubules that are put together uh, organized almost in a star shaped fashion. Um, its function is going to be control and organized cell division. They're found in eukaryotic cells and only in animal cells. Uh, the process that's involved in obviously then will be cell reproduction, which is another word for cell division. And that's the end. Um, so I hope that you have your notes complete. Uh, I would suggest now taking those, um, those notes, converting them into some flashcards so you're able to study with them. Um, it does take a little bit of extra work to, to memorize all the organelles.